Hey everyone, thanks for checking us out on Instagram TV and this is going to be a bonus episode of the New Marketing Show. You know, lots going on in the world right now and there's a lot of bullshit going on and there's a lot of anger and people are confused, people are hurt, people are sad, people are angry, people are, they don't know what to do. People have also been cooped up, right, for the last couple of months because of, you know, quarantine for the pandemic. But the biggest thing that I see and the biggest thing I want to talk about right now is the messages that people put out there into the world on social media, especially from people who manage brands and people who are public personalities. And, and here's one thing about being a public personality or not being a public personality. If you have an Instagram following, if you have a Facebook following, if you have a Twitter following, you are a public personality to some extent. I think that a lot of people don't realize that. <clears throat> and I don't think that they realize the messages that they put out there, how confusing they can be, how out of context they can be taken, how hurtful they can be, how insulting they could be, how dismissive, how, you know, like the CrossFit CEO, Greg Glassman, and I don't know if he will still be CEO when this video is posted within a couple of days of recording it. And, and for, I guess, timeline context, today's Monday, the 8th, and everything happened yesterday, the 7th. So let's see if he's still CEO when this happens. He posted some really insensitive remarks about likening, you know, the George Floyd to COVID-19 and how, you know, fitness, somebody posted that fitness is, you know, a, a public health matter and he called it George 19, which is just stupid, wrong, insensitive, un <clears throat> uncalled for, you know? And like, I don't know Greg Glassman. I know the CrossFit brand well, but I don't know Greg Glassman and I don't know if he was trying to be funny, which he wasn't. I don't know if this is who he is as a person and it's just and it's coming out because he doesn't rely and he doesn't trust the team around him. You know, look at other people who like I like Drew Brees. Drew Brees made a statement, you know, again about Colin Kaepernick and about how he'll never stand up for somebody, you know, dissing the, the flag. None of this is about the flag. None of this is about that. And Drew Brees is smart enough to know that. But but what confuses me is how how did his team, his personal team, his personal branding team, his team of you know managers or agents or you know social media marketing people allow him to put out such a stupid message? Now I believe that he was he's a decent person. I believe that he's probably didn't mean what he said in the way that he said it, but it was said, and you can't unring the bell sometimes. So it's you know, no matter how I feel about the state of affair and the politics and, you know, the, the protests and the racial injustice and all that, and I do have strong opinions about that, and I do believe that black lives do matter, and I do believe that not all police are bad, and I do have some of these convictions, but at the same time, like, you have to consider the message and consider what you're saying and consider how you're saying it and consider things that it can this be taken out of context can your message be taken out of context by anybody can is there any confusion in your message how clear is your message like what are you trying to do what are you trying to benefit how are you trying to benefit or make things better make things different by your message it doesn't make any sense to me and again you know i want to go back to the thing that we are all you know personal yeah, I'm, we are all public people nowadays, you know, by posting this, you know, I'm a, a, a public person, but anything that you post online, you become a public personality, a public figure. So it just confuses me. It baffles me. It, it, it saddens me that people just don't get it, that people don't get why certain things are so important to other and agree or disagree. You have to understand, you know, you have to try to understand, you know, seek understanding before being understood on the other side of the coin and you know any type of humor 
and any type of jokes or anything like that through text, email, uh, social media posts, you know, can always be taken out of context because you can't hear, you know, what somebody's saying or what somebody means or how they're expressing their, their thoughts. So if you are managing anything, companies, or just your own personal shit, just be aware of how other people feel about your message and are you contributing to a solution or are you contributing to the problem? I don't know, I guess that, this is the longest video I made in a long time, but that's what I want to leave everybody with. Are you a part of the problem or are you part of the solution? I choose to be part of the solution. So everybody stay strong out there. Everybody stay safe. Hope quarantine starts unlocking, you know, restrictions start lifting. I hope that, you know, our cities can go back to a little bit of normal. I hope that, you know, communities can find peace. Commun communities can find resolution through all of this stuff. So thanks for watching. See you soon.